Pom 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 pom. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is rendering set visibility? Let's jump into our example. It's not going to work, but we're going to go ahead and fix it, and I'll explain why. So I'm firing off line traces. They're hitting my components. I have three components plus the root inside of this actor, and I'm telling it to set the visibility to hidden. And it is working. However, you're just not seeing anything happen. Let's cover out why. So the set visibility node is pretty simple. We can type in set visibility. Now if you have context sensitivity turned on, it's not going to show up. It has to be with context sensitivity off, or since we're targeting a scene component, you can drag off a scene component itself. Another reason the video is called rendering set visibility is because there are two different nodes. There's the rendering set visibility node right here, which we are covering. And if we type in set visibility again, we'll find widget set visibility. And you'll notice they are different. Visibility for a widget actually has a different few different states, whereas visibility for a scene component has two, on or off. So we're dealing with the scene component version in this video. So for our inputs, we have the execute wire. We have a target. Now the target is a scene component, and that's important, and that's why the R example is not working. We have the new visibility, basically checked if it is visible, unchecked if it is hidden. And then we have propagate to children, which basically does the same thing to any children underneath the scene component. We're going to go ahead and cover all that now. So what do I mean by the fact it was working but not working? Let's run this in the editor. Let's target our rendering actor here. Let's go ahead and look at the root. And let's look at our visibility and hidden in game options here under rendering. Let me go ahead and fire at it. And if I hit it, there we go. You'll notice now visibility is unchecked. Visibility is a per scene component option. The root has its own visibility. The sphere, which is a child of the root, has its own visibility option. And then the cubes have their own as well. And if you notice, I can toggle them on and off. Now the reason why it's not working when I fire it, but it's working, is because I'm talking to the root component itself. And that root component is only going to be affected by itself because I don't have Propagate to Children on. So if we check Propagate to Children, and we hit Play, now I'm going to fire at something. It's going to hit it. Let's, let's actually view this inside of the editor. Here we go. Pull up the actor. Let's pull up the right cube, and we'll check out its visibility down here. Let me fire off, and if I hit something properly, there we go. The right cube's visibility is unchecked. The left cube's is. The sphere and the root. All of them have visibility unchecked. We have hidden it. That is because I targeted the root by using my get root component on my hit. I told it to toggle its visibility, to set its new visibility to nothing, so hidden. And I told it to propagate to children, which means it went down the line and said, okay, unvisible, 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 unvisible. And it went all the way down the line like that. So that is what our propagate to children node does. Now, if I wanted to just set an individual one here, this is pretty simple. I can take my hit component, which is the actual component I hit rather than the root itself or the actor and set it as well. Let's run it and we can now shoot each individual item and hide them as you can see. And actually, if we go back and we look at our rendering actor and you notice our root, our root is still set to visible but each of our individual components underneath the root are now not. Again, they each have their own scene component, they each have their own rendering option for visibility, and we're only affecting the individual ones. Hopefully you can guess what the new visibility does here. Let's actually flip-flop this, because why not? And technically this is a very poor way of doing this, so let's just see what happens. Let's run this. And we'll go ahead and fire it stuff. And there we go. So you can see the first time I hit this cube, it's going to toggle the visibility in one direction. We're basically going to flip it true or false here, my flip-flop mode. And then the next time I run it, it does it again. So we're hiding and unhiding. Now, this isn't really the proper way of doing something like this. You should use the toggle node, which is covered in a separate video. But this is just to demonstrate that if you are passing in a 
positive for the checkbox, it will now be visible. And if you have it unchecked, it will now be hidden. Regardless of what the current settings are, you are setting the visibility. So that's it. That's going to wrap up our video for set visibility in the rendering section. Takes in a scene component, takes in the new visibility, so checked or unchecked, and then a check or an uncheck if you're propagating down to its children with the new visibility settings.